Ron, actually, my hair salon offered to come, for me to come in at midnight. I said, I'd love that, but I'd be so tired for the morning news. But I am anxious <laughs> to get in later today. How about you? Yeah, I am too. I, I still don't know what I'm going to do, though, with my hair, Heather. Uh, you know, I, I know I'm going to take the signs down, but it's like how much of, I'm kind of proud of this Corona do, you know? You know what? I, I, I don't I'm know how you feel about yours. I'm liking my brown roots. <laughs> I'm okay with it. I'm embracing there it. There you go. Exactly. So it's like, you know, if I do take it down, I, I don't think I'll ever see it growing this much ever again uh, in my lifetime. But, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that later. Let's talk about your forecast now, what's going on there. Hey, we do have some rain showers around, and the best chance for seeing some rain this morning into the early afternoon hours uh, by far is going to be south of I-70. That's where we'll continue likely uh, to see a passing shower, too. It does look like these will all be rain showers that we'll be dealing with. Uh, and that's as you can just see it kind of like uh, right there, uh, kind of as as uh, right around the area ridge of high pressure, uh, the rain just keeps uh, kind of rotating around. So the high pressure ridge is way down to our south. And this is what we call generally the ring of fire right around that ridge. Generally, it happens near the middle of the day, but we're still seeing some rain showers just around that ridge at this point. And there is a boundary, obviously. You can see the cloud cover uh, there as well. A little bit of fog out there first thing this morning, so be prepared for that. Looks like the thickest of the fog is going to be along I-80. At this point, 64 is your temperature, and you'll notice the Pittsburgh area Airport at least is showing perfect visibility, but we are seeing half mile to about a mile visibilities along I-80 this morning, so just be aware of that. Dew point's already up to 63 degrees. It's going to be another steamy one out there this afternoon. High temperatures still expected to be into the mid-80s. In fact, I'm going to go 86 for that expected high. Hey, it's 63 in Butler this hour, 63 in Greensburg, and Washington coming in 64 degrees, 65 in both Newcastle and Wheeling also coming again at 65 degrees. Now, most of your day today, it, it's going to be dry, but we will still have that scattered storm chance for the afternoon hours and a better chance for some rain once again if you are south of I-70. Pleasant weather. It's set to return for the weekend and a big warm-up over the next uh, couple of, uh, well, into ne uh, the middle of next week, I'll say, is what we're expecting to see as well. So the best chance for rain you can see there with model data kind of off to the east and to the south. Uh, as we're Heading into the afternoon, that's as we'll start to see those pop-up showers developing, especially along a cool front uh, that'll slide through. By 9, 10 o'clock, rain should be out of here, and the rest of the uh, overnight hours should be dry. I'm sticking with a 20% chance for rain on Saturday, but i got to tell you, at this point, it really looks like the entire day is going to be dry. We'll keep it dry Sunday, Monday, and on Tuesday, so a nice little stretch of dry weather is heading our way. Hey, for today, 86, your expected high temperature. There's how I think the day breaks down, including temperatures already flirting with the 80 degree mark by noon. Uh, there's your seven day cooler, more pleasant over the course of the weekend. Might even just struggle just to get back to 70 degrees on Sunday. A Monday high of 80 degrees, 90 though the expected high on Tuesday.